example of a control picking exercise. We've got a lot of controls very close together. They're often at angles to each other, so there's lots of twisting and turning. The area is very detailed. The orange here will have to read a lot of the detail on the map, and we're trying to overdrive that. We're exaggerating the amount of navigation they're doing. So on this first leg, they might just read the spur, and maybe the depression, and maybe the hill, but we're trying to overdrive that. We want them to look at the shape of the spur. We want them to look at the shape of this depression here. It's a very particular shape. We want them to look further to the side. So there's hill, there's a knoll. Can you see this stuff? Can you see this little hill? Can you see the reentrant behind it? What are the proportions that these features are to each other? When you come into the control for this first one, can you see the depression and the two knolls? Are they positioned exactly as you would have expected them to be positioned based on the map? We've even got this form line that goes around here. Can you pick that up? The map has put the effort into putting that on the map. I suspect it shows something important. You should be looking at the map, at the ground, at the map, at the ground, the whole way around this course. So that's there's a lot of mental energy going into this control picking exercise. You should be on the ball the whole time. Success in this exercise is when you have so many points of reference at any one moment that you can even pick up when things aren't exactly as you would have expected them to, to be. Maybe that's because the mapper had to do a bit of simplification and that's okay. Maybe the mapper missed something or you think that their interpretation of the terrain is incorrect. If you have eight points of reference and then one of them is out, you can notice that and it doesn't derail you. Success in this exercise should bring a lot of confidence to your orienteering and you can slowly speed it up. You can slowly begin to remove things once you're familiar with what it's like to exaggerate the orienteering technique and overread the map. And that brings you a lot of confidence when you're moving on to race pace. But for this exercise, start it slow, find really detailed areas, do as many control circles as possible, and then progress on to other exercises where you speed it up.